Well, good evening, YouTube. You got Kenny back with you on Sheepdog Preparedness. Sorry, I've been gone for a few days uh, from the YouTube channel. Man, there's been a lot going on. Uh, this behind me kind of gives you an idea of the time of year. <laughs> These are not fresh. These are old kills, but uh, uh, it is firearms deer season in Missouri right now. So a lot of us have been busy. We've been out in the deer blind trying to fill the freezer. And that's a huge part of the preparedness plan for me is to have plenty of deer meat in the freezer. Uh, that's what the good Lord put on this earth for us to feed ourselves. And so, we, you know, we're always out there trying to, to add to the freezer by doing that. If you're a landowner in Missouri, you get your deer tags for free so we can kill uh, a buck and many does uh, free with landowner tags. So we're out there working on that, putting some deer meat away, hoping, hoping to do that anyway. And I uh, just wanted to do a quick video tonight uh, on a little reminder on something that you may have forgotten as far as your food storage things go. Now, I am going to do a big video on just strictly on food and kind of break down uh, a lot of the things that I store uh, and talk about uh, non-perishable foods and things that you can put back and show you some of the things that I've been putting away for the last few years. And I'm working on food really hard right now, hitting that extra hard now that I've got my goals set on all the other things that I had set. Uh, so I'm going to hit that food. Winter's coming. So uh, regardless of what you've got put back, you can always you know, stand to put back a little bit more. But what I wanted to talk about tonight was spices. That's something that you might forget. Um, and I've also been hitting those kind of hard lately too. Spices are great to have on hand because a lot of the preparedness food that you may put back, like beans and rice, uh, they can be kind of bland if you're just fixing them just straight out. You want a little flavor in there. So spices are great for that. And I'll show you some of the things that I've been grabbing up here lately extras of. Here's what I did on the latest uh, trip to the store. And, and everything you're looking at here is probably 11 or $12. Salt, this big thing of Morton salt, you can usually get for about 50 cents. Bouillon cubes and chicken and beef, I think these were about uh, $2 a piece. These spices, Walmart, most Walmart stores have these for a dollar. You know, dried onions, chili powder, garlic salt. This little Coglin's multi-spice pack, you can get this in the camping section at Walmart. And you can see it's got uh, garlic, salt, black pepper, regular salt, paprika, curry, and cayenne. So you get a nice little mixture in there, and this is like $4.50, I believe, for that. So, you know, maybe, what, 12 bucks here or something like that. This will add all sorts of flavor to, you know, some bland dishes that you might be potentially fixing in an SHTF scenario. You get some beans and rice on, you put a big pot of that on, your belly's going to get full, and it's going to serve the purpose, but it'd be great if you could add a little flavor in there. So uh, there's quite a few of these little bouillon cubes in these in these jars trying to figure out how many you got in here it doesn't really say it just gives you okay one cube servings per container about 25 so 25 of those for about two bucks and those things are great put that in there and, you know instant instant broth so they do have a lot of salt in them bouillon cubes do so keep that in mind but uh, just wanted to run this past you and give you a little bit of a, a reminder to not forget spices. Now, there's another great use for these besides just perking up the seasoning on your food you're going to fix during an SHTF scenario. And that other thing is barter. So get extra of all of these. I keep tons of these on hand, these salt containers. Do the same thing with sugar and uh, flour and things like that. Those are great barter items. Those are things that some people are going to forget about. And you can always trade these for other things, uh, make some deals with people. Barter will be a huge asset during that uh, collapse scenario. Alrighty, folks, I'll do another video again in the next few days. Just wanted to give you something to think about tonight while I had a little bit of time to crank one out tonight. Uh, we'll do a full-length big video on food, another big one on water, and a big one on medical. Those are all still coming and also several other video topics that we're going to be covering. Give me your input. What are you stashing back as far as spices and barter items? I'd love to hear what you got going on. We'll catch you next time around. And as always, I ask you the question, are you ready? <music>